like 12 and the first music I was learning was stuff like Nirvana and Green Day and Smashing Pumpkins so um, yeah those are the first few years on guitar yeah I would say the animals as leaders influences came later years later as I became more advanced on guitar um, bands like Dream Theater um, even individual guitar players like Steve Vai and Satriani and Greg Howe and Ingve Malmsteen all these guys were a heavy influence on my, my actual guitar playing and then um, they kind of opened up the door to more complex music in general So, um, um, and then musically I also have some non-guitar based influences like Radiohead and Aphex Twin and Square Pusher and you know the Bad Plus. That's a tough question. Uh, I would say uh, it's guitar based instrumental music that um, is progressive in nature with jazz harmony, classical harmony, some electronic elements. Ibanez has been my favorite guitar company since I really got serious about guitar. All of my favorite influences were Ibanez players. Um, so to be working with them on a signature instrument is definitely an ideal situation. Um, they're also a company that has kind of been at the vanguard of guitar design. I had a lot of custom instruments, but by the time I got the first Ibanez RG 8-string, I was very impressed with just how stable the neck was, um, how playable it was, it still felt like a guitar. So to design my guitar, you kind of use the RG as a platform, but I just added some tonal versatility by voicing my own pickups and um, adding a single coil. Uh, right now we are in the writing process for the next album and yeah it's I've been kind of collecting ideas for a few months and we're just now sort of developing those into to songs and uh, I'm excited for people to hear it. It's done. I just want to say what's up to everyone at Domi Soul and uh, muchas gracias for bringing me to Guatemala for the first time. Mm -hmm. 